Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode number 15 of Splitting Hairs, the Free Salon Education Podcast, powered by MinervaBeauty.com. If you are looking to upgrade your salon furniture, Check out our friends at MinervaBeauty.com. They have a huge selection, huge warehouse in Monroe, Georgia uh, that you can go check out. They've helped over 175,000 beauty businesses worldwide. Uh, so go check them out. We have deals going on. If you join our email list, we're also offering deals. But use the code FSE20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off. Uh, I don't know if it's... Sele- I think it's your order, um, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't want to like, you know, put my words out there. Check out our email list, uh, FSE20, use it and uh, get tons of money off of your order. Um, Mevo on tour. um, If you're watching this today, which is Friday, we are live and I'm going to be Monday speaking at Mevo on tour in New York City. Wow, can't speak. Um, But if you are watching this on Wednesday, you missed it. Uh, It was probably a great time. Um, And that's it. That's that. But we are uh, we do have Mevo on tour. You can still get tickets if you're watching this live. Um, and I think they're doing like a buy one, get one free special right now. So um, there's over, uh, I think, 150 people going to be there. Uh, so it should be a pretty big event. Tons of speakers. Uh, the owner of the company, John Harms, uh, I'm going to be there doing a presentation as well, uh, talking about basically transforming social media into clients in the chair. Um And it's at the Yext building, which is what I learned, which is like a very popular building. I even had to do a uh, like a security sign in ahead of time, like a sign of disclosure. So I don't say anything of what I see in there. I don't know. So it must be uh, a big deal. Um, I know what we're talking about next week. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, comments from last week. We did have uh, a lot of people. What's that? You're not going to the Mevo event? This right here is my first invite. <laughs> he's been inviting Nobody's us going. every week. I, I did, thought he was inviting everyone else. I didn't know he was inviting us. <laughs> Everybody's invited. <laughs> well, now I have a therapy appointment on Monday oh, because I wasn't invited. Jesus. So that's probably what he's going to talk about the whole time. So. I um, everything else. You didn't is get fine. invited. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nobody's going, and I'm still I'm still trying to decide. Like I'm going to get there. I want to get there for John Harms. Uh, him talking and then I'm going to talk and then I'm probably just going to be headed back because it's Monday and there's a lot to do. So, um, but I'm excited to be there and, uh, speaking again. Uh, I haven't done that in a little while, so should be fun. Uh, we did have a lot of comments from last week. Uh, so I just want to bring up a few of those because it's obviously this show is all about you guys, uh, getting involved in our conversations. Um, so many people said they still use paper appointment book. I was surprised. Like, you know, I love that for them. Yeah, I know. And, uh, so, and then somebody else, uh, they said they use a paper appointment book and I only have myself and one employee without a receptionist. Uh, is this the one? No, that's not what we're going to The one advantage yeah. that I see to not doing the paper book, like I understand that some people just really like, you know, the, the interaction of writing it down themselves. But the one thing that has helped me immensely having the software is the ability to stay on top of like my numbers. The fact that within 20 seconds, I can estimate my next paycheck, see what my year to date numbers are. Like, I feel like if I had to sit down and get a calculator and do math, I would literally never know those numbers. Yeah. Yeah. We actually did it manually for a while when yeah. they were coming out with the software, like when, when Millennium before. was starting to partner with Paul Mitchell. <clears throat> every single day we had a spreadsheet and you had to fill out what you did, um, how many services you did. It's actually pretty easy, And then when you got the math. computer system, I came to work here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it is easy. Like, it, it's not easy. It's a little bit of work, but it is kind of cool. I actually found a lot of benefit in writing those numbers down every single day because every single day you're physically writing it and knowing how many services you did per guest. So then the next day you're trying to beat that or, or You whatever. should talk about this at the Mevo event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, save, your, save all the good stuff, Matt. Yeah. Talk them out of software. <laughs> 
You know what's great? Spreadsheets. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but all right. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, taking control of your career. Uh, there was a comment, um, and I, it really isn't even about... I like to pull a, a subject from a comment because there was one line in here where... Um, I wonder if it's the one I want to talk about. So it's the last one. So, and you could talk about yours too. Um, I have never had a salon owner that has taken advantage of that hasn't taken advantage of me, and that seems to be the theme. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to be helpful, and then they completely use me, and I didn't have good enough boundaries. And I think that this could be a good conversation for um, just talking about taking ownership. I understand there's bad salon owners out there. Um, there's bad everything out there, people that will take advantage of people. Um, and maybe you're currently thinking you're being taken advantage of. For me, I think like just being able to have that voice, like like that's kind of a, a lot of what we're at home talking about, but like just being able to, people take advantage of people because they don't, um, keep knowledge. I think knowledge is number one. And two, uh, just like speaking up for yourself and communicating. And I think there's a lack of communication uh, in businesses uh, for sure. And just figuring out like, like with, uh, with let's just say you right now, you want, okay. you want to sell, <laughs> <laughs> not because of you, but no, I'm saying I get it. I'm, like we were just talking this morning, yeah. you were, it, it's coming up with I want to talk about like solutions to things mm-hmm. and then also, um, you know, just I'm trying to think of where my thought was because I'm going all over the place. But I do feel like the boundaries um, that somebody has or talking about an owner that just isn't um, is taking advantage of them. I think you just need to um, like I've never felt that before because I've always just been really focused on like what my goals are. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, I think like to sort of corral a few of those points please. with my own experience, <laughs> like <clears throat> I, and to tie in why having Mevo is great mm. because once you stay on top of that stuff yourself, it makes, it cuts out the ability for people to take advantage of you. Like if you're on top of your own numbers, like if, like if you're talking about paycheck, like I feel it's getting skimmed or whatever, then stay on top of your own numbers. That's easy with books. Yeah. Communication, I think, is huge. Like, you and I have had a couple of conversations over the course of my time working here that have just really, like, stuck with me and helped me understand. I mean, most recently was when we were talking and you sort of got it in my head that, like, we are providing a place for you to kind of have your own business. And to think of it that way with that that sort of scope has just helped me contextualize what I'm doing here. Like the, the, I'm in a space where I can provide the kind of experience that I want for the most part, like working in tandem with you guys. Yeah. And you know, the other thing that keeps coming up, that was a great conversation that we had again, going back to communication being key. I saw in several of the comments, people were talking about the biggest complaint they get from clients is prices. And I remember like the, the one time that we talked about that when I was first starting to like really build a book here, I had said like, oh, I'm getting really busy. Guess it's time to like get an assistant. And you said, no, that's that's not what that means. Like that means it's time to raise prices because now you're more sought out. And I think it took many years for me, so I'm not saying this is like gonna be solved for you tonight, but the the hardest thing for me was going from the point where people were upset with my prices to me understanding that that's just always going to happen. You have to stand by your work, your prices, and the people that are willing to pay it will come. Yeah. You know, every time I got a promotion over the years, there was a pit in my stomach of like, oh, am I going to lose? And you have to remember, like, this is a job. This is a service. While you are friendly with these people, even if you are friends with them outside of work, these people are not your friends that you need to do favors for. Like, if they are your friends, they will support your art, your work, your paycheck. Like... And if they have a budget, that's okay. And like, they can still be your friend. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And like, not to say like, oh, to hell with people's budget. Like, no. understand their budget mm-hmm. and 
try to come up with a solution that works with them that you can provide. And if it isn't going to work, then it, recommend someone else in the salon who maybe has a different price point. Or, or you again, you communicate with them either that or a solution of how to maintain their hair within their budget and your time. Right. And yeah. then that that's again, like I think communication is probably the biggest word here of what we're all like yeah. in, in yeah. the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. Because if you come to, if, it's like looking at everyone's point of view too. And it is a business. Yeah. So, but you also, it's, it's very hard. Yeah. It's very, I feel like salons well, and that's are. Why, like we were saying, find your place. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is going to work in every salon. Like mm -hmm. I have tested that theory and I don't, but you need some place where you can have that communication where the kind of mm -hmm. business that you want to run is being owned by the kind of people who want to have that kind of business right. under their roof. Yeah. And the taking advantage of that this one person may have been the one viewer, like listener could have been talking about something totally different too. Yeah, for sure. Which obviously if you're being taken advantage of or manipulated or your money yeah. or, you know, that's yeah. a whole different story. But that's when you have to have the communication of this is what I'm mm -hmm. doing and this is how it's making me feel. Mm -hmm. And if they have a completely ridiculous reaction that you are not happy with, then it's time to then start you know. looking for yeah, someone or else. Or it was an eye opener and like, yeah. oh shoot, I got it. They're like, oh, I yeah. didn't even realize, like I didn't know that yeah. you did 20 loads of laundry today because I was busy doing this. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'd be amazed what, I mean, this is like, like communication, it changes everything. Like, And if I don't, like if you don't come to me and then I eventually come to you, there's a problem, I feel like. Yeah. And, and vice versa. Yeah. If there's like something brewing. Like I can't yeah. be mad at you for not knowing something I didn't tell you about. Right. Yeah. Like it's that's or just something how that everything works. you've been wanting to talk about. Right. And I, yeah. Yeah. And the sooner <laughs> like, you talk about it, the sooner it can start either being fixed or corrected, or you'll learn real quick that your feelings that you're having are real feelings. And there's a reason why you should probably look for something else or I don't think it's necessarily the theme. I think people start thinking like they're saying it's the theme of salon owners or, or whatever. I don't think there's probably, it's probably very rare to find a perfect salon owner or any business owner or any person in general. But, um, I think that if you, um, I don't know. I'd have to disagree because I feel like the world, unfortunately, like I'm a pretty positive person with people and I feel like sometimes I get burned because of it, but I feel like money does crazy things to people and just makes them. It's hard to get the person, the owner, the person at the top to corral or budget their lifestyle. We see it with big companies all the time and also still think of their employees as, as, share, as, as shared, but it's not, it's a, it's, it's, it's a tricky situation. Right. Well, yeah. that's so you could you gotta... come to a salon and feel not valued mm -hmm. or, Carly, you have another experience yeah. from being somewhere else. Um, and then they get very frantic because they were doing well, but then the owners are spending one way and the 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 employees are spending another way, which what they make. But then all of a sudden, what if the owners are making really bad decisions and now they're frantically right. finding a way for their stylist to make the same money or more money or and quick? Because right. that I feel like is something probably that is a theme. Yeah. And I think that's because when people start making money, they budget. I mean, we are, we're all guilty of it. Yeah. But if you're working in a salon and you're budgeting your way and you're used to this, 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 and this, and then all of a sudden things are changing in the salon or the the clients now are like, oh, your prices are going up again. Mm -hmm. Oh, again. And there was no rhyme or reason or communicating yeah, kind right. of what like Brian was saying. Yep. Then I think things do get, it gets a little tricky because the owner's like, just thinking of one thing and that's that money making. I don't know. I feel like. No, that's I, I, I totally agree. And I think another, I guess, side of that to go with like, what is a theme here? I don't think that it's that salon owners are bad. I think it's that not enough stylists understand that whether you like it or not, if that's the business model that you choose to work under to have work in someone else's salon, just like everything else in your life, mm -hmm. if not more so, that's an important relationship. Like mm -hmm. if you work for someone you don't respect, I got news for you. That is going to not be a great place to work. Mm -hmm. Like if it's not someone that 
you can talk to or feel comfortable talking to, it's not going to end well. Yeah. Like, don't just find the first salon that'll put you behind the chair and just stay there. I know that I, that comes from a, a, a privileged place to be able to say that, but like put the work in. If you want this to be mm -hmm. a fruitful career and not just a job, you have to put a little bit of work in to make sure that you've got that relationship yeah. that you can have a back and forth and grow. And I'd say yeah. too, like write down those priorities and know what they are going into the interview. And then you can kind of have those questions because that's always like that one moment where, well, oh, do you have any questions for us? And it's like a blank Right. Oh, yeah. Wait, what, you yeah. know, and have those ready because then you're not, you know, what is their, what is their system there? How do you, how do you further yourself there? How do you make more money? How, how many years have your stylist been there? You know, you can get a vibe for yeah. definitely a place if you just kind of know that too. Yeah. I think it's hard though in our career to just pick up and leave, obviously. Like, yeah. So, you know, obviously don't, like make sure you're communicating and setting those boundaries. But I think like in my personal experience, like I was a little nervous to leave the place that I was because we had, um, you know, I think they had a sign when yeah, we started like a non-compete and then, um, then you have to like worry about that. So it, I, I sympathize for, I, I don't, think the government I mean, in just Maryland, a thing. maybe like, no, like, not, but. Oh, like Federal, just like, there no, all no more of that nonsense. Yeah, yeah, I'm not so, sure. Because I had one too, but years ago, I yeah. sympathize like with people who like the girl in the comments because or whoever it was in the comments because mm -hmm. it's not as easy as just being like, all right, bye. Like, yeah, right. Right, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Unless you had but some other other gig or something <laughs> yeah, I mean, going on. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. that's the thing. But, if you're willing, like I do believe we're all pretty much in control of our lives if you want to get, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit deeper about it. And you do have that option and it might not be pretty for a while, right. but right. you have yeah. that option. I mean, to we're dig in a deep. business. You got to start at the bottom every time yeah. you want to start over again. And yeah. it's yeah. worth it. Like she, I think she ended with like, or she said, um, I love it and I don't have to take any anxiety medication anymore. Yeah. yeah. That's so, great. I mean that like she definitely took advantage and, mm. So. And that's like Good. we keep saying like all last week. It's about you have to do that work to figure out what's going to make you happy mm -hmm. doing this and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, are you just never going to be happy working for someone? All right. Well, that's why there's suites. Open your own salon. Mm -hmm. Like there's options now. Like yeah. if you're unhappy, then you need to make yourself not unhappy. And when you were talking about price changes, I actually, it made me think about salon suites and, and the fact that I would be a failure at. Oh, having, same. Like I just, if I have to have a one-on-one, -on -one, like I'm going to do two free haircuts today. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think they're free. I actually -uh. don't know. I let them charge. No, they pay. They pay? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, there you Way go. Way to stay on top of those books, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they pay, I don't know. But anyways, so there are neighbors, but I'm just saying like, if I was in a salon suite, I would literally just be doing hair basically for free the whole time oh, because totally. I'm, I'm I, really bad at every time I no, a promotion. Hold on. I fully blame it on you Unless. guys. Unless. Wait, you are putting something. Ab <laughs> I can't even get There's not enough time. No, no, Not it's enough fine. time. Christina runs the There books really isn't enough time. Matt's about to get a sit down. Well, yeah. Yeah. Matt does <laughs> not <laughs> give off, free. So. Like, he gives free. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I can't even. There's two minutes. Someone's getting called in HR. Yeah. I. Uh, so I, <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> when my only income was haircuts and colors, I would 100% not have a problem charging. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys get free Wait, No. This is such a Matt? longer, for you putting <laughs> Sorry, out the Jan. idea we'll that you're like, it. oh, I just love doing hair. I'm just going to do hair. Now we got to tell Jen, <laughs> no, nice. we don't get free haircuts. <laughs> Sorry what you heard it. online. <laughs> we'll talk about it a different time. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're... Did, uh, um, you would be great at having no, a suite. no, I, I do know what you're saying, though, it. Matt. I mean, I'd be fine in there. Because yeah. every time <laughs> I've ever gotten a promotion over the last you just blame 11 years, I fully blame it on you guys. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah Matt is not sorry, afraid to raise more prices or make money. Told. I don't know what. No, is I'm not going afraid on. to make money. I love <laughs> making money. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm, I have a hard time charging somebody when we're face to face at mm. checkout oh so you know what i mean so you got to do it in your consultation you need the cojones 
<laughs> for those watching, not, not a checkout. What is in your hair? It looks like there's a Wait, feather in Carla, the top of your hair. What? No, it's it's products. <laughs> I saw it earlier, and I'm like, oh, we're already live. I'm not gonna say. I just anything. noticed. No, I'm, where is it? I'm Look out of back. something about Mary. <laughs> it pretty much is. I, I was like, I'm gonna, and then I'm like, no, no one can see it. Don't say anything. That's funny. No. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Um, no, we were already live. I didn't want to no, say I know. it. I. Uh, I have different. This product is gross. You look this cute. Product is. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, that was very nice. Um, oh, I told you you were handsome yesterday. I know Go that on. was very nice too. Did you just tell me his cancer? That's what, that's no, I said he's handsome. Like. <laughs> that's what it sounded like. All right, we got one minute. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, the camera. It's okay. It's on. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Go, run, run. Do you think my hair is looking thicker now that it's getting longer, or is it looking thinner? I think <laughs> when you're doing it, it looks thicker, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. On the wheel. I, actually, we need somebody to spin it, so let us know in the comments if you're a professional. Say you want to spin the wheel. Um, on the wheel, we have formulate.co uh, slash Matt Beck, which is actually... If you go to formulate.co, you might be able to get information on Formulate Labs, which is coming up, and they're going to be able to build you your own custom hair care line uh, right through their system. So there's more information to come, but we're really excited about it. They got something new coming out. Uh, So if you're looking to rebrand yourself and have your own products, uh, go to uh, check out Formulate Labs. Uh, Go to formulate.co. Also, Minerva Beauty's got some stuff on the wheel. Uh, giving away a color cart and then Mevo is giving away tickets to their upcoming Mevo on tour and then we got a ton of scissors, tri-razor, evo razor, all FSE tools that are awesome and if you're looking to upgrade your tools uh, use the code LOYAL at checkout LOYAL uh, and you'll get 50% off your order uh, for a limited time that will go away so uh, take advantage of that do we have anybody to spin? Um, Susan S. I think she may have spun already, but if she's the one, she, she's, she's the loyal. only one. All right, Susan All right. Q. <laughs> All right, Susan. Minerva. Hey. Heck yeah. Good one. All right, cool. So, Susan, email Matt. We need a better email address for this. I'm going to try to work on that today. Matt at freesaloneducation.com. Give me your address, phone number, uh, and full name. And we will, I'll send it to Minerva and they'll send you out your uh, cool prize. It should be Matt at Matt at. Just keep doing that over and over again. <laughs> Just email us at Matt at Matt at dot Matt at <laughs> dot Matt at. I need an address that goes to like Matt all of us and not just me. That's what I was thinking. Um, all right. <laughs> Susan said still never heard from Formulate. So it's like a first time. Oh, love you guys. You I did email them this time. So it's on them. I'm going to put it on them this time because I did email them. Um, I'll email them again. And because you should definitely be getting that. He even wrote back and confirmed it, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> Hopefully, it's on its way. This wheel is making me well, feel she's got, like it's just a code. It's really bad. Like really bad. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Well done. Well done. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Follow. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the conversation today. Please get involved in the comments. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel, um, and subscribe on iTunes or iTunes iTunes from 40 years ago. Uh, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Spotify, follow Brian. Hairstyle. And Carly. Hair by Carly C. And us, everything at Free Salon Education. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll see you again soon. <laughs>